Good morning. Gather around for insights today. I've got two stories to talk about this morning, both in the New Testament. One in the book of Matthews and one in the book of Philippians. Philippians was uh, written by Paul to the people in that country. But first, have you ever been to a circus? What did you see? Maybe elephants? Maybe tigers? I put a couple of those pictures for you to color today. But you probably saw a clown too. Happy face, full of fun. What well, do you think clowns have problems and are they not happy all of the time? They have to act happy, don't they? Because they have a job to do. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about being happy and what it means in the Bible. Our Bible in Philippians says we always need to be happy even when we have problems. Well, that's not very easy, is it? But Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. We have reasons to be happy. God promised always to be with us, to comfort us, and to give us strength. So we should be happy in that. Well, the story in Matthews is about a party. How many of you like parties? Do you like to go to birthday parties and reunions and other kinds of parties? Can't do much of that right now, can we? But at this point in Matthew, Jesus was telling about a king who was giving a party and he invited all the important people. They were gonna have cake and ice cream and gifts for everybody that came. Wow, wasn't that an exciting idea? All of them were invited, but not a one would go. Can you imagine that? Not going to a party where you have cake and ice cream? Well, more invitations were sent out to everyone in the neighborhood and in the surrounding area. Young people, old people, sick people. They decided that Anybody that wanted to come could come, and the king didn't even know some of those people. These people that came were happy to come to a party. Look at the goodies they were going to get. Well, what and who exactly is this party about? Who do you suppose was giving the party? God. And who was he giving it for? his son, Jesus. Those who didn't attend didn't want to follow Jesus. But those who did attend were followers of Jesus and were very, very faithful in their, in their following him. Something very important is in this story. And it tells us that God invites each and every one of us to be a part of his heavenly kingdom. Well, what's the one thing we have to do? We have to have faith in Jesus to enter the kingdom of heaven. Imagine how happy you would be and are to be invited to a party in God's kingdom. To be with each of us always with God, even when things maybe problem have problems or we're sick or all of those things can go wrong. But we can be happy. There was a song several years ago that said, don't worry, be happy. And wouldn't it be wonderful to be happy in God's wonderful kingdom with his promise to love and all we have to do is say we love Jesus and be faithful followers. Let's have a short prayer. Dear Lord, help us to remember to be happy in all things. God said, and Paul reiterated, be joyful in all things. 
And God also said in Matthew, be joyful and come to the party. And the only thing you have to do is believe in Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. One more thing. We have boxes for the shoe boxes for Christmas sitting over at the church. If you don't want to get in there, um, just let me know. Or, and I can bring some boxes over here and you can pick them up outside down at the door. Um, the, also, I'm thinking about, um, we always have a little offering every Sunday. How about if you take a little container and maybe put a few pennies in there? And when we ever come back, maybe we can do something, some mission project with those pennies. So we've got two things going. We've got the Christmas shoe boxes and the pennies that you could um, put into a little collection box at home for when you have Sunday morning worship. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great week. Bye now and God bless.